Hey guys and gals, I'm going to show you a quick clip that I took in October of 2012 and then I'm certainly going to come back to it. Hold on just a sec. Here's a Can-Am Spider. You don't see too many of these. You see more of them now, but they are pretty cool. I'd like to know what it is to ride one. Turns out that I am going to find out what a spider feels like riding it because bluntly I just bought this this is a 2021 Can-Am Spider RT Limited the touring model of the Can-Am Spiders the F3 is the cruiser mo uh, model it has a 1330 cc Rotax Triple. Rotax is an Austrian engine manufacturer. Um, Can-Am is owned by Bombardier, who makes air, airplane engines and Sea-Doo watercraft. Um, it's got a six-speed semi-automatic transmission. It's got a front in the front, in the front, the front trunk. It's got and a semi-automatic transmission means that I shift up, but it automatically shifts down. I've ridden it around the parking lot a little bit. Haven't ridden in a long time. I stopped riding because I was having some balance problems. But as you can see with three wheels, I don't have a balance problem. So. I've uh, uh, put it around the parking lot a little bit. I'm going to get my stuff hooked up and uh, we're going to go for a little ride. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm in Modesto. I'm at Cycle Specialties in Modesto. So it's a good day. Didn't start out very well, but it's going to end up really solid. So here you go. We'll, we'll see what's next. Well, guys and gals, hopefully uh, this um, this um, GoPro will work. I haven't been on a bike in seven years. I got music. Great day, eventually. Hey guys and gals, it's Wednesday after the Tuesday that I bought my Spider. I went for a ride yesterday, but sadly the dash cam, I had it too high on the dash. I'm sorry, too high on the windshield. And it vibrated so bad that almost all the footage was useless. You see I have some GoPro. I have some GoPro footage, but I, it, it didn't it didn't take and the battery ran out. So there's only a little bit of GoPro footage. I got to figure out, I think I need to put the dash cam lower on the windshield so it doesn't shake as much. I will say it was like 197,000 degrees yesterday. And it, <laughs> I didn't have my best day, but I... Uh, my um, a Garmin fell off twice, and I had to run out in the traffic and get it. So I wasn't happy about that either. 
fact, the second time it fell off, it got caught on the exhaust and it burned a big hole in the top, but it still works. Uh, I love the Spider. It, it, uh, it's awesome, but I only rode it, I bought it in Modesto and I rode it back up here to Stockton on the back roads and I'm way out of shape for this. Even getting off and on it, I had leg, hip, and back spasms, cramps. So it's like, I'm way out of shape. I'm exhausted this morning, and I hardly rode the thing yesterday. I just rode it back, so I'm not going to go riding today. It's going to be 105 for the next five days, so we'll see how I feel. But um, you see now, uh, if you watch this, that I, uh, I ran some film, and I'm going to edit a short bit. And I'm glad I have it. I wish it was a better day yesterday, but look at that. God, what a beauty. Um, the radio, you know, when you're going 70 on the freeway, all you hear is wind. You don't hear the radio at all. So I'm not sure what to do. I guess just not uh, listen to music, which is, you know, no big deal to me. But um, I had to stop on the way home in French camp and eat and get something to drink and sit because... I haven't worn a helmet in so long. God, my head. I thought I was having a stroke. God, my head hurts so bad. So I got off and I sat inside at Togo's at, at, at one of the truck stops right uh, there off of I-5 at, at French Camp Road. And I, uh, I drank a Gatorade and a, a big Gatorade and a, and a big Diet Coke and ate a little bit and just kind of sat and I felt better. And then I went ahead and rode home. But none of that footage is useful because... It shakes too much, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyway, I, I wanted to make a short video today, or um, just to, you know, there you go. So I'm glad I have it, and you're going to get a lot of riding videos. That's for damn sure. So thank you for watching Travel Time with Joe. Enjoy your day, and peace be with you.